Right guys, Mutant Nation, welcome back. We're at West Coast Iron for round two. Today, Ron's left me by myself, unleashed on his equipment, so we're gonna have a chest workout. We're throwing some triceps, and as you can see up there, West Coast Iron is also the mutant mecca, so we're gonna do it justice today. We're gonna have a good workout, show you for it, see you on the other side. I like to start my chest workouts by doing something with a nice, huge, big range of motion. Something like a pet deck, pet fly, just to really open up the chest. I find it helps with just getting that blood to the muscle, lubricating the area. So we're going to make sure everything's as safe and as risk-free as possible when we head into them heavy, heavy working sets. So I'll probably do three sets on here, like just to keep you in towards failure each time. I know I've only been one big working set, maybe a drop set at the end to finish off. Let's have a quick look around, see what we've got for check. So this is known to be quite tight to get into, because I'm so huge. I'm going to put another plate under the stoppers just to make sure I don't have to go too deep and overstretch. Because we've all got a safe working range. It's a myth that you have to touch your chest with a bar on a chest press. Some people just may not have the range of motion in their delts. And here is a really, really sensitive area for injuries. So be super safe. As long as the form is and the tempo is like controlled and solid, you're working through as much range as possible, you're going to use a lot of the muscle. every time I did leg day in Vegas with Milos because that's how I felt through the whole entire session that's the explanation yeah. oh yeah. yeah that was a worker guys so in here I have 15 grams of the the Mutant BCAs and 15 grams of the EAAs, the gear. Um, BCAs is watermelon flavor and the EAAs are tropical fruit. There's some good mixing concoctions with these. If you play around with the flavors, you can uh, do some damage. But the reason why I'm sipping it through the workout, after you give a set, you deplete the muscle of proteins and amino acids, you're breaking that down. So, if we can replenish that through the workout, one, we're going to make sure we don't break down muscle tissue during the workout. One, we're going to make sure the levels of amino acids are topped up so when we come to the end of the workout, when it's time to recover, you've not drained as much as the tank. So if you imagine trying to fill a tank back up, well, if you only drained it halfway, and we've only got half to full, fill, that's better than not having this, draining the tank all the way down. And then the workout food, post-workout, is probably just going to I don't know, scratch the surface, so to speak. So by taking your aminos into your workout, you're not only fueling a better session, but you're fueling a more optimal recovery process and more muscle growth. My training style has changed a bit recently. Past probably three, four months, I've gone away from the progressive overload method. So in that method, you're warming up and you're trying to conserve energy by doing fewer reps on your warm-ups. Right now you'll notice I'm doing tens. So for me, I'm probably not going to work as high on my weight in the top sets, but I'm going to make sure I'm super warm. Again, that risk of injury being so close to contest is reduced as well. One drop, 
second drop now, one plate inside. I'm gonna do tension holds. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, all eight times are one. Two. Right, so that's the heavy pressing portion of the workout done. Two exercises, three real good working sets. That one we're going to drop set and the holds. Now we're going to work into some stretch flies again to really get as much blood in as possible. Stretch everything off, get it contracted and squeeze them. Chest feels really full. So we'll probably do four sets of flies and then we'll move into the arms, triceps and a bit of biceps. into some bodyweight dips because I find that finishes off the lower pec and the cheeseburger to area but it will kick off the triceps for when we hit a few more on those. I've spoken about this before but I think it's important to note just in case people missed it I'm less than three weeks out now but approaching two and a half weeks out so body fat slow I'm drying out using compounds that help that drying out process which do affect tendon and ligament strength. So working to absolute failure with max, max load right now, for me, just doesn't warrant any benefit at all. There's two sets on there to finish the chest off as well. As I said, stimulate those triceps of what's to come next. So this might be something people want to know. Split-wise at the minute, I'm training six days a week. I do Monday to Saturday, Sunday off. I train back on a Monday with some biceps, but I missed biceps yesterday because we're filming, so I'm going to do them today with triceps because I train chest on a Tuesday with triceps, Wednesday is quads, Thursday is delts, Friday is chest again because, again, chest has been notified as a bit of a weak point, it gets flat first, so we want to keep that pumped up through the week by training twice. I'll hit arms again with chest on Friday, and then Saturday is hamstrings and calves and just anything that I feel needs a little bit of a topic. So I don't always superset arms. I just got a feel and how I feel. But today, I'm feeling like being as productive as possible, getting as much work done in the shortest time possible, so I can get on that fucking treadmill and do my cardio. So today, we're gonna superset. Also doing calves, calves and abs, or in America you say calves, calves and abs. Every day with cardio in the morning, so everything's getting hit. No boxes are being missed. No stones unturned, as they say. Newton Giant is getting after it, and it will show on stage. Right, workout finished. Chest, triceps, biceps. Great workout. I've got a great pump. Probably the mutant all in did the trick. And we're gonna do cardio now. 20 minutes on the treadmill, incline walking. Really just to get this sweat on, get this output up even more. And then we're gonna get into our post-workout food. Relax for the rest of the night, get ready for a big quad session tomorrow. Thank you very much for tuning in. Comment below. Ask as many questions as you want. We want to make these videos as informative, as helpful and as motivating as possible. So from myself and the Mutant team, thank you very much. Peace out. Until next time, see you later.